And as COVID cases continue to soar, preparations are underway for Arizona to receive those first vials of the vaccine this week. But getting the vaccine is just the first step. As Team 12's Michael Doudna shows us, this is not a simple process. Guys, we're set to receive tens of thousands of vaccines this week, and when they get here, they'll need to be stored at extremely frigid temps to remain effective. From Pfizer to takeoff, the first vials of COVID-19 vaccine are shipping out throughout the country. Couldn't be more confident in the distribution of the uh, vaccine. But there are challenges as the vaccine will need to travel thousands of miles to get to the millions who need it. And the fact is, none of us have ever seen this in our life. It's changed our world upside down. Chris Kopak is with the University of Arizona and an incident commander. One of their major challenges is storing these vital vaccines at the needed negative 70 degrees Celsius. The answer, these gigantic freezers, which rolled in last week. Uh, and then that's roughly about 140,000 that will be stored in every freezer. U Arizona has created a freezer farm able to store 1.6 million vaccines. They bought the freezers weeks ago, prepping for this moment. Uh, we are now ready to receive hundreds of thousands of vials of the vaccine. But this farm is still a step. The vaccines still need to be distributed. Those who get it, well, will need to be checked to make sure they get a second dose, and we need more of it, especially as it's rolled out and made available to everyone in the coming months. But a vaccine's approved. It's on the way, and we have places to store it. Steps vital to finally beating COVID-19. It's critical. This is a, a game changer. Now, guys, those on the front lines and those most at risk are first set to get this vaccine, and we also may see another one, the Moderna vaccine, approved as early as this week. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.